हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड चिल्ड्रन आज यू ऑल आर अवेयर दैट वी हैड स्टार्टेड अ चैप्टर इलेवन लाइट शेडोज एंड रिफ्लेक्शन इन दैट चैप्टर इन आर लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डन ट्रांसपेरेंट ट्रांसलूसेंट एंड ओपेक ऑब्जेक्ट एज वेल एज ल्यूमिनस एंड नॉन ल्यूमिनस ऑब्जेक्ट सो टूडे चिल्ड्रन एज वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट सोर्स ऑफ लाइट एंड हाउ लाइट ट्रेवल्स ऑल दीज थिंग्स वी आर how light allows to pass through any object or not so certain phenomenon that is related to light we were doing so today in today's class we are going to discuss about that light travels in straight line what do you mean by this that how we can find it out always we were saying that when we were forming a figure or a diagram then we are saying that a uh, sun rays are coming straight on the earth why is it so see children if we shine a torch in a a dark when at night when you have tried some time you uh, glow the a uh, glow a torch at dark night you will be finding that that light is coming only to a particular place only in particular straight direction only even that you can uh, observe in vehicle also a vehicle light is going to give a uh, glow in that particular area straight in that straight area that can be seen that light can be seen so what do we understand here by looking into these example it means that light travels in straight line only that straight path which is there that only you can find it, you can see that now if we uh, place an object in the path of light what happened if i will put some cloth in front of that torch which we are glowing at night then what happened then it will stop so the formation if we place an object in the path of light a shadow is formed behind the object that only will happen that if light is coming and somebody is standing in front of that light then at behind that person their shadow is going to form so first of all we'll understand that light travels in straight line so what we are supposed to uh, do in this we are going to uh, take an activity which help us to find it out that light travels in straight line so we are going to see this uh, today with the help of an activity light travels in a in a straight line this we are going to find it out straight line light travels in a straight line so light travels in a straight line what do we mean by this now if so a uh, with uh, example of torch with an example of vehicle light we find it out that yes that light travels in a straight line so what do we find it out here this only with an activity now what we are going to do this uh, two activity we are going to take it here now and then one uh, two activity we are going to see and then we are going to find it out that yes uh, that light travels in a straight line see science is need some reason behind it to understand now the first activity first activity that is related to light travel in a straight line what we are supposed to do it that like we'll take uh fix a lighted candle candle on a table take a rubber tube and stretch it straight and look into through it at the flame of the candle with one eye keeping the other eye closed so what you are supposed to do it you are going to take a table on that table you are going to capture a candle a glowing candle 
and then you are going to take a tube rubber tube rubber tube and you are going to see through that tube here you are going to see through that tube see through that tube what you are going to find it out fine uh, so what we are going to find it out that at the flame like fix a candle on a table on a table we fix the candle and then we are going to watch through a rubber tube which is uh, with the straight rubber tube so what we are going to find it out that when we uh, see the or when when we look to the flame through a straight rubber tube we can by keeping our other eye closed we will find that when the rubber tube is straight we can see the light of candle flame through it so with a straight tube now here i have uh, to look at to that tube with an open eye and i am going to keep our other eye closed and just i will try to look into it what i'll be finding it out that with a straight tube i can see this candle flame very easily we can see through this uh, straight tube now what happened now here we have to uh, label it that is lighted candle lighted candle and here this is your straight tube straight Cube. Now what happened? If I am going to take one more case, where I am going to take again a candle, a candle, a lighted candle. But in this case, I am going to take a bent tube. Such kind of a tube I am going to take. It. then you again this is your lighted candle lighted candle so bent tube i am going to see here through uh, my bent tube so through this bent tube so bent you and now i'll try to look to that candle flame again will i be able to look through that bent you so what did i find it out here i find it out here that that now bend the rubber tube a little and look into uh, that tube to the candle now what we find it out from here we cannot see the light through this bent tube so this means what does it means that light of a candle flame can travel through the hole of straight rubber tube but do not flow through the bent tube bent rubber tube from this observation we conclude that light travels in a straight line so uh, these two cases we have seen like in first figure what you have taken a lighted candle and a rubber tube which is straight and in the second case we have taken a lighted candle with a bent tube then what we find it out that a lighted candle with a bent tube or a straight tube with straight tube we can easily see this flame but with a bent tube we won't be able to see this flame this means that light travels in a straight line so this activity we have that to prove that yes the light pass through only in or light travels in a straight line now one more activity we have that 
activity, second activity we will see that is related to only this uh, light travels in a straight line. Now second activity that is related to this that is on a table we are going to take a lighted candle, lighted candle and we will place three cardboard. We are going to place three cardboard here. We are going to place three cardboard here. Now, three cardboard having one hole at equal level. One hole. And then what I tried it. Now I will see from this side. Again, one eye will be closed. One eye will be closed. Now what did I find it out that three cardboard which are kept parallel to each other. In front of this lighted candle, it allows the light to pass through all these holes. It allows the light to pass through all these holes and then enters in my eye. Now what do we understand that if these holes are made on same distance like on same height it will be made then it allows the light to pass through it. Right? Now take three cardboard of the same size place these three cardboards together one over the other and make a hole in their center by hammering a nail through them. Now in this way we will get three cardboard having one hole at the same place in the center. Now what we can now perform the activity. Now fix the three cardboard vertically on the table in such a way that their three rolls are, uh, holes are in straight line. So as shown in figure this. Now number two place a burning candle behind the farthest cardboard. The candle should have its flame at about the same height as the hole in the cardboard. Now look at the candle flame through the holes in the first cardboard. We can see the candle flame through the holes of the cardboard. Thus when all the cardboard holes are in straight line, then light from the candle flame reaches our eyes. So what do we understand by this? Now these two activity now now push the middle cardboard slightly out of its position. Then again you try to see through it. Now when these three cardboard are in, in same uh, size or in same location, then you can see through that holes at this candle. Now you uh, shift any one of the cardboard on other position. And if we look through the holes in the first cardboard, we cannot see the flame of the candle. Now this means that when all the holes of the cardboard are not in straight line. So what do we conclude here? We have uh, done this experiment in two ways. First case, we have kept all these three cardboard in same line. Second, we have removed this one cardboard or changed its position. Then we find it out that in case 1 when they were kept in a straight line and the holes are also in straight line then we can see easily the flame of the candle. But when we relocate the position then we find it out yes that we cannot uh, find it out uh, we cannot see the uh, we cannot see the light. So uh, when all the holes of cardboard are in straight line, we can see the light. When we change the position of the cardboard, we cannot see that light. So uh, it shows that light travels in a straight line. Now the property of light traveling in a straight line is called rectilinear propagation of light. 
so in motion chapter we have done rectilinear motion similarly rectilinear propagation of light rectilinear propagation of light now we cannot see around also shows that the light travels in straight line now uh, if light does not bend it means that light travels in the straight line so the property the property of light the property of light traveling traveling in straight lines traveling in straight lines are called rectilinear rectilinear propagation of light rectilinear propagation of light so the property of light traveling in straight lines are called rectilinear propagation of light so that is why only we can see only through a uh, cardboard when it uh, they are in straight line otherwise we won't be able to see that light so two activity we have seen to understand that how or uh, yes light travels in a straight line so uh, that only is going to uh, help us to understand that yes at night also rays which are coming from sun they are also traveling in a straight line they are coming in a straight line so another topic or uh, next thing which we can see that is the beam of search light at the airport or if you have seen that uh, flash lights which were used at port also on for ships also they are also traveling in a straight line and focus light is giving that the light travel in a straight line and the beam of light coming from the projection of a cinema hall they are also coming straight to us so these are the certain examples of that light traveling in a straight line now the next is the pen hole camera so today we understood that how light travels in a straight line by doing two more activities two activities we will understood that yes light travels in a straight line and that traveling in the property of light traveling in a straight line are called rectilinear propagation of light it shows or it means rectilinear propagation of light rectilinear means rectilinear motion we have done when an object moves in a straight line it means that is rectilinear motion and rectilinear propagation of light is there now uh, this rectilinear propagation of light only help us to understand how shadow is formed now a shadow a light do not pass through our body when our shadow is formed at the back then a light does not pass through our body light which is taking our body shape and passing only straight line so they that shadow do not have a shape why shadow is dark why that shadow is not having same color of my face same color of my hair uh, what uh, the cloth which i was wearing that i uh, that color is not there with that shadow why is it so since a shadow is or the light which is passing that is not passing through our body that is passing outside the body taking layout of our body and then that layout is forming like that 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 is uh, our body is formed 
shape of our body is formed so that is your property of light with, of traveling in a straight line so next topic we are going to take it in our next class today i will be finishing uh, your class you just go through that activity 1 2 3 1 and 2 and then we will understand what do we mean by pin hole camera in the next class so that's all for today children have a good day